Extreme storms, hotter seasons. With a specialized degree in climate, he's pioneering the way we look at climate and how it affects our weather. Now, climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. In today's climate classroom, swimming side by side with sharks is just a fact of life here in Florida. But increasingly, it's becoming commonplace in places not accustomed to these shark encounters. That's because warming waters are now shifting shark migrations in Florida and beyond. We are just starting to see what we think are the implications of climate change on this kind of rain shift of these sharks. Between 2014 and 2019, during the infamous warm blob event, a curious thing started to happen along the California coast. Typically, white shark nursery habitat is off Southern California. But a few years ago, we started to see sharks aggregating at locations up in Monterey Bay. And that area was historically too cold for them. Dr. Chris Lowe is the director of the Shark Lab at Cal State Long Beach. His study shows that warm water has pushed juvenile white sharks hundreds of miles north. It's oceanographically warming up faster than biologists thought were possible. So this is the part that's the concern about global climate change, is that the waters are warming faster than we predicted. Rare marine heat waves like the blob are now 20 times more common because of human-caused climate change. But so far, the West Coast warming hasn't hurt the white shark population. White sharks might actually be beneficiaries of climate change. In other words, their populations are doing better because there's more habitat within the environmental conditions they like. And as long as there's plenty of food, which there appears to be, that population is going to do well. But that may not be the case 20 years from now. And that's what worries Dr. Neil Hammerschlag of the University of Miami. He's found a similar effect along the East Coast. Uh, ocean warming is actually causing the tiger sharks to alter their migrations. They are extending their movements further north than uh, during warmer periods. They're spending more time there, and they're arriving there earlier in the year. In fact, tiger sharks have even moved into the historically cold waters of the Northeast, a place they haven't been before. And while this can inadvertently cause more run-ins between people and sharks, Hammerschlag doesn't feel this is cause for concern. In general, we don't have to fear shark bite because, thankfully, sharks really don't like to be around people. Generally, when, when sharks see people, they, they go out of their way to avoid being around people. And there's really not that many sharks out there. I know it might seem like it at times, but, you know, shark numbers aren't really as high as other species. So fortunately for us, humans are just not on the menu. But it can be deadly for sharks. Because ocean warming is altering their, their movements, the timing and, and where they're going as well, there's actually now a greater mismatch between where the tiger sharks are and these protected areas. And as a result, they're now more exposed to being captured in these, in these fisheries.